Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, DJI Air 2S sitting on the landing pad here, and I am out at the Snake River Canyon, and uh, there is a lake off the other direction here called Halverson Lake that I've always wanted to fly to. So it's straight down the canyon here, and it's actually kind of within the canyon rim. Uh, so I've got the RC Pro that has, you know, some really good uh, connection and gets, gets good range. Uh, so let's uh, quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Let's get out over the canyon and uh, see if we can get out to Halverson Lake. Let's start recording now. Let's quit messing around. We got 95% battery. We're doing a manual takeoff. And there's the drone right there. And of course the uh, obstacle avoidance is going off. Let's kind of fly it over the top of us here. And that was, uh, that was the A-pass that lifted the drone up there. Let me, uh, let me bring it down here. And we're gonna do our droney uh, kind of the opposite direction of the camera. Let me drop that camera down. Uh, reverse and up now, reverse and up. And straight over the side of the canyon here, man. This is always spectacular. Uh, I always love that. As you can see, there's no fence, there's no wall, there's nothing that, uh, you know, I could drive right over the side of the canyon with my Tahoe. So, yeah, pay attention, right? Okay, I'm not going to mess around. We are going to head west here. And uh, we're going to see how far we can get. We can raise an altitude if we need to as we go. But what I'm going to tell you is... Uh, and in fact, let's put it in sport mode. Let's get let's get let's get with the program here. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you is, uh, uh, you know, or, or, the, the the lake itself is kind of in the canyon, uh, and so I don't know. You know, we're going to have to we may have to get up higher to uh, maintain a good connection, but we've got a good uh, direct line of sight at what's going on with the drone. And again, I, I mentioned it earlier in, the, in another the video that I just finished of the drone tracking me. Uh, the, uh, it's a hot day today. It's in the 80s and we're in direct sunlight. And the, uh, the fan came on on this uh, RC Pro. And we're tooting along right here at uh, 19 meters per second. So that's what, 41, 42 miles an hour, something like that, pretty close. That's just me kind of guessing off the top of my head. And uh, yeah, off we go. The drone is uh, performing perfectly and you can see the Snake River down there. It's kind of interesting the way the canyon cuts here. Uh, you know, it's wider in some places than it is in others. And this part of it that we're looking at right now, uh, you can't get down there with a vehicle. You can see that trail uh, off on the left-hand side there. That is a walking trail. So if, if we could go far enough here, you'd get all the way up to uh, Celebration Park in Guffey uh, in Canyon County. Uh, so I don't know. We'll just see. We'll just see how far. Uh, and I, you know, Halverson Lake. How I I I don't know exactly how far it is uh, from here, but uh, but we're gonna find out. And yeah, drone is uh, performing perfectly. I've got 26 satellites, still 75% battery. You know, again, discretion is the better part of valor. If we we get uh, if we get around 60% battery or so, I'll just turn around and I'll bring this guy back. So, you know, you you. Uh, what you don't want to do is uh, is risk, uh, you know, loosen the drone that it doesn't have enough battery to to, uh, to get back, particularly if you're over the side of the canyon like this. So I don't know. This thing it may be it may be further out there than than what I thought. 
or or is it just is it just dried up? You see those trees there off to the side, it's, but there's I mean there's a potential that it just you know you see it on the map, but it may not have any water in it. Let's kind of go over here where these trees are here. Let's kind of look down and, and boy we got great signal. You know the the uh, the the drone we got we got perfect signal. So we're down to 64% battery. I'm telling you discretion is the better part of valor. I'm not going to mess around. We're going to zoom down in here and uh, let's see, I, I, I'm used to the other controller, so yeah, we're going to zoom down in here. And now uh, that, I don't think that may have been, that looks like just kind of a wet area or, or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That could be it. That could be, that could be what remains of, Hal oh no, there's Halverson Lake right there. Look at that. Look at that. I just didn't go far enough. So, uh, so let's take a chance here. Let's get, let's get out there a ways. Let's move that. So there's Halverson Lake, and I've always wanted to uh, see that from a drone. And there we did. So, uh, so let's, let's zoom in on that. And that's as close as we're going to get, folks, because uh, we're at 58% battery, and that is... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to hit return to home on the uh, controller. Go home. And here we come. And you know, uh, is it better to let the drone just return to home on its own? And look, we're back in the green, so the drone is even saying it's got enough juice to get home. It's coming back at 12 meters per second, so about 25 miles an hour. Well, I guess I can't say that I went all the way to Halverson Lake, but I did find Halverson Lake with the drone, so we got that going for us. Okay, I'm going to stop return to home, and uh, and I'm going to just hit the throttle in sport mode here, and see if we can get home a little bit faster. And we can. It's uh, it's coming back at 19 meters per second, so drone is moving right along. I'm going to kind of move us, maybe not in exactly a direct path, but kind of closer to the edge of the canyon. And maybe we'll fly back uh, along the edge of the canyon. You know, the drone is going over 40 miles an hour right now. And, you know, it doesn't look, you're, we're high enough that it doesn't look like it's going that fast. And, you know, we had absolutely no signal issues uh, whatsoever. Uh, it really was a limitation of battery power uh, on, on getting out there. And I suppose if I'd have done more to conserve battery, I probably could have. Uh, but th I, that's the, one of the limitations, I'll tell you, of the Air 2S is definitely battery power. I mean, we're getting used to, like, with the uh, Mavic 3, you know, uh, uh, close to 40-minute flight time. And the same thing with the, uh, with the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, you know, we're kind of getting used to those, to having those long, long flight times. Yeah, 36% battery. We're in great shape here. I'm going to move, I'm moving kind of closer to the edge of the uh, canyon because I just think that gives us a more spectacular view. And I, I see some, uh, man, there's a couple of uh, ravens, three ravens chasing each other right in front of me here. Ravens uh, uh, nest in the side of the canyon here. I see four of them. And they are smart birds, man, I'll tell you. So the other thing you can see is on the edge of the canyon here, there's places here that, uh, you know, you could you can hike. There's a trail. You can see the trail off to the far left there, but, you, but, you know, you could hike all the way down to the canyon from here. So this spot that we're looking at right here, and I'm going to 
lower the camera as we go. That's, uh, that's another place that uh, I was thought to drive out to someday. Turn around there. I think I could get there. But there we are. You can see us off in the distance. Yeah, it's it's we're at at 25%, although it, it's telling us that it wants to go into return to home, but we're in great shape on battery. I'm going to lower the uh, camera here so you can kind of take a look at the edge of the canyon. I think that's always a spectacular view. And how long so we burn up that battery pretty quick. We've been recording now for about 10 minutes, so all that full throttle and all that that we did definitely burnt up some battery time. So there we are down there. Let's drop this guy down and bring it to us. And uh, I'm going to put it into uh, cinema mode here so I can get a little finer uh, point on it and, uh, and let's land the guy. Let's get her pointed around here. And as I've told you guys before, uh, my, uh, my depth of field isn't that good on my eyesight. So I'm going to see uh, if I can just... Uh, we're in a flat spot here, so I don't think it's going to hurt anything, even if I miss. I'm going to see if I can hit the, uh, hit the pad. So with my eyesight, it looks like it's about right. I'm gonna move off to the side. Yeah, I'm thinking it's about right. I'm gonna pull that uh, left stick straight down. So straight down we go. Yeah, and we did it. So I'm all on the pad there. Uh, that's, a, that's unusual for me. So let me stop recording. Let me shut everything down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay guys, uh, the DJI Air 2S. Now, uh, we're out in the middle of the pucker brush out here on the edge of the Snake River Canyon, and it is, it is really hot. The, I mean, the sun is just beating down like you can't believe. Uh, and it's a good thing I had two Action 2s because uh, they both overheated at different times. I mean, they're just sitting here just getting baked in the sun. Uh, however, uh, the DJI Air 2S, uh, man, what fun. And this is why you buy a drone like this instead of a mini drone, is because it, it has the power uh, it, to do things like this and speed. In other words, we were able to put it in sport mode, go over 40 miles an hour and head out. And we went uh, uh, west down the canyon and we got to uh, Halverson Lake. We didn't get exactly to the lake. I'm smart enough not to push that hard. I like my drones too much to do that. Uh, but we did get it in sight and we used zoom to zoom down in on it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, and then turned around, I hit return to home to come back. Wasn't going fast enough. Threw it in sport mode, uh, got it right home. Uh, so yeah, fairly short video, but kind of fun and kind of just something I wanted to do. Uh, you got to show you guys a different part of the canyon that you don't typically don't get to see. So if you want, stay tuned for a little bonus footage. Uh, I've got the Action 2 on a extension rod here, and I'm going to go over the walk over to the edge of the canyon here and uh, and and kind of hold it over the edge, and you can see how far down it is. You wouldn't want to fall over. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hang on for bonus footage. Okay, let's walk right out over the edge here. Little scary for me. I, uh, I'm not going to say that I'm exactly have uh, uh, acrophobia, fear of heights, but I'm not crazy about it either. Uh, but let's hold this camera out over the edge. I'm standing within eh, a foot of the edge here. Uh, so we can hold this guy out and you can see how far down it is. It's a little scary. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's walk right over here. This sticks out a little bit more. And this is as close as I'm going to get, guys. Because uh, I'm, uh, I'm not afraid to tell you. I'm a bit of a fraidy cat. Man, really good view of... Uh, you can see the trails where people walk up here and look around. 
uh, and what a what this canyon is so beautiful. And there's nobody down there today, and I think it's because it's so damn hot. It's really a hot day. So here's another spot we can look down. Yeah, look at this. And I am, guys, I am way closer to the edge than I want to be right now. I am literally right on the edge of the canyon standing here within just a few inches of the edge. And of course there's, there's these rocks right here, but uh, I still wouldn't want to fall. So, uh, so there it is. Uh, okay, let me, let me see if I can get a selfie here and you guys can see. Yeah, uh, nah, I don't want to be any closer than that. Well, I'm walking back this way. I'm an old man. I don't have the greatest balance. So uh, anyway, uh, we, that's your bonus footage for the day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Yeah, and uh, the Tahoe got kind of dirty too. Holy cow. This guy's going to have to go straight to the car wash. Look at that dust. Reminds me of the days on the farm.